There's some that don't Good exist, or the, is the thing. The, uh, for the most part, everything got kept same is a thing. Um, no, I meant like uh, for us playing out the campaign. There's some stuff that like just never happened, so it's like, oh, we could just go on like a fucking side trip that we had for a week. Yeah, that is potential. Uh, let me change the music. In honor of Take On Me, we're, I'm going to play Take On Me. It's a good song. I like it. I know, it's just very meany. I, I, I played at work, and my friends and I play at work a bunch, along with our house in the middle of our house, 10 hour weeks. I'll never forget the day that pissed off a customer. That's hilarious. Worth. And to yeah, totally worth. And now you don't have customers, because... Uh, anyways. Store's closed for a week, fuck yeah! Which yeah. means, by the way... Yeah. There is... There is House Benagia. That's true. Funnily enough, the my other group is gonna... I might go back to that. Mm. Oh, nice. So I could prep it again. Because I wanted to tweak it. There were some things I did... I wanted to do differently, to improve upon. Uh, but yeah, as an overall thing for the whole group, not just the two people that have secondary characters to play. Any type of story you guys want, or at least don't want. <laughs> if we wanted to really jam pack this with too many people, too many chefs in the kitchen, we go to Dover. Yeah, with that's, the entire that's... seekers, entire seeker squad, all like seven of them. Yeah, that's that's the one that I would say honestly probably don't do just because it would be too busy and it would take forever i mean just a place of secret squad of like you guys are here funny uh it could be the nocturne i could make a new story could be. did we ever fight the nocturne no we didn't but you guys didn't but you guys wanted to i assume you guys would have done yeah gone out at some point yeah it's just we kind of had priorities that. for most of the time. We could do that. We could do that. What's better is if you throw a second villain. <laughs> that would be so yeah. weird. Having oh. a copy of Archfey as these three Archfeys. <laughs> so, man, that's a mindfuck right there. We could do that. Let's see. What else? We could go fight against Seema's... Uh, Oh, that was a oh, fun Captain. time. The time Shadmer got stabbed in the chest once. And then again Should later, twice. Be, uh... Should I not be listening to this combo? No, because the story can change. Yeah. Okay. And the other bit is, you guys might have heard about these Azure current characters. Yeah. And <laughs> So that'd be, that'd be very funny. To be 100% fair, we're probably all going to forget about this in a week anyways. So, like... What about the poop ghost, though? Oh my god, no. fuck no. I'm sorry, that's not... They... It doesn't exist. Shh. <laughs> It's a joke. <laughs> they, Damn it. Fred's character shouted down like a toilet's pipe that like waiting in the sewers, and then some fuck. How old was Rolf? He's like ten. He's like, oh, there's a poop ghost. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Marshall. No, yeah, no, no, no. It's like, like, it was planted the idea yeah. in his yeah. head as well. Gotcha. It's like, what if there are poop ghosts? And Chad is just so like, oh my god, it's not a thing. There's go like, oh, do does poop leave a ghost? Is it a poop ghost? Would it be the spirit Anyways. of the thing you ate that then became the poop? <laughs> no, poop goes. Um, but yeah. I, here's the thing, we can go on about this for a bit. Again, I just want qualifier parameters, rather. Anything we don't want. Do we want a lot of combat or very little? Do we want a lot of roleplay or very little? Those are probably two good questions to start out with. I would say, personally, just enough roleplay that we can play around with the characters some if we wanted to, and then more combat but that's also because Sandra is a mostly combat based character <laughs> oh, every character in D&D is mo mostly combat a bit of D&D it's a system built around fighting with some exceptions here and there I don't know Kirsty, Rebecca mm. RP versus combat I know um it's basically I I, 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 a third. I'll give you a third question, but go on. No, 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 you go. So I was gonna say, how long do you guys want to play this for? 
Because if you're telling me to do a one shot, then I'm gonna cut down like a good bit on stuff. That's like the kicker, right? Yeah. But if you want a lot mm -hmm. of both, I can do that. We can figure something out. It's just a matter of it definitely can't be a one shot. Yeah. You know, so I was like, how long mm -hmm. are you guys willing to be in here? You guys want to stay in here? Probably. I assume by my own standard, you guys will probably be here for like. For how long? Two or three sessions by my own standard. Uh -huh. If you guys want to add on to that, we can make it five or longer. I'm not quite happy like a, with like. It this could be a chapter <laughs> in the arc. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna find I'm out. Yeah. All right, COVID nineteen, take me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm gonna have quite a lot of free time coming up anyway. So. No, that's exact. Which which leads to my next bit. We'll talk about the scheduling for a secondary and afterwards. But I want to get this done so that's why I can get the gears going. So yeah, it's, do you guys want, basically do you two want to have to deal with uh, Garf and Fred playing two characters, potentially simultaneously, likely simultaneously? I don't mind. Because at that point, the air might be filled with them in terms of chatter. Obviously, I don't think Chetamir is a particularly talkative person when it comes to strangers, so good there. Aldrick though. <laughs> Aldrick, on the other <laughs> hand, <laughs> Aldrick <laughs> does like. Ha yeah, that's gonna be. I mean, I'm quite happy. Fun. You okay, Evan? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm quite excited to see. Here's the, yeah, here's the thing. Here's, they look for our here's, suffering, so. Here's, it's here's the for funny us, thing. Yes. Here's the funny thing. I think Aldrick falls under the Rebecca uh, romanticization category of tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I think Aldrick how... falls under it multiple times. I am like the most predictable person ever. Everyone, no, every you, single you told person, you told every it. single person I know makes fun of me for my like very specific, like male aesthetic, pretty boy. My my one of my best friends calls me a brood lord because every mm. day, <laughs> like legitimately the first make... session we thought he was a vampire. So like, <laughs> you guys did think he was a vampire. That is true. That's hilarious. It's just funny because like every video game where you can make a character, I always make like the broodiest, like, you know, Bishonen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although Aminius isn't all that broody, actually. He's just. A... I think you designed him to be initially, but I think he's like. He's there, are, there are elements sprinkled in there of broodiness. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of broodlord OC. Aminius has always been more of a snarky boy, but he didn't wind up being that snarky in this. Um, in this That's game. fine. It's just adaptation. Yeah, he's more of just like I don't even know what he is. He's just me because I'm like shy at RP. That's fair. It's like your first like long term campaign you've done very. All right, so it does seem like you guys want a decent bit of role play and combat. I think combat depends on the next question I would ask. It's not in terms of like just your guys' desire, but also my uh, design standpoint. Um, with this. Uh, the story, this sub story, because obviously we're not gonna play through the entire story. So that's because that's literally an entire campaign. I'm not putting in an entire campaign in the middle of a campaign. <laughs> well, what we do is we that's jump crazy in. Shit. We have all right, so Sima's we don't look at the boss. character die, and we just have uh, the new people join in the crew. Boom, here's, Sanja here's also the dies. Man. Like Sima doesn't talk that much, so no, she doesn't. Yeah, so it's fine there. Uh, I'll talk to O about Marshall, stuff like that. But anyways, um, this story, this chapter, chapter in your story and chapter in their story. Do what's? I guess I'm really only giving you two options for this setting. Um, something city based or something outside? Because outside, like I think you guys have already noted how tones for. In city and not in city. In city is much more roleplay based, not too much combat. Outside is survival, tracking, killing. And you could always on. do that psychopathic uh, character that you wanted to. You could do the city one. What, the serial killer? Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. I couldn't remember the word. I have a lot of psychopathic characters. You guys have already met some psychopaths. You, you picked up what I was putting down, the serial killer, yeah. You guys have met serial killers. One of which you guys haven't detected yet, which I find hilarious. What? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's a bit of being a serial killer. No one knows. Yes, you guys have met Am you know, Amelia. 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 No, Amelie's yeah. 
has been injured. Yeah, it's her man Amelia. She's a serial killer. But obviously, she's a serial killer who's showing her fangs to you. I mean, it's probably the twins. <laughs> Uh, but so yeah. the last person we expect is going to be fucking what's his face. I mean, hey. Oris is probably <laughs> he's a killer. I don't think he's a serial. He's a contract killer. Yeah, that's what they all say. Because like the bit with serial killers, like you kill for like sport or entertainment. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. The contract was the person talking to say, "Gotcha, you, gotcha." You. Yeah. <laughs> Mima, so, so, Amelia yeah. Told, totally killed someone. She found the throw the. Here's here's the thought crash. They don't. Know. See, this is why you I want to end. I recall um, when we first left uh, Northrend, we had a uh, little stint in a small time town. Well, I can't remember the town, but I remember the Gilded Aurora. Yeah. When you left the. T or when you left. Northrend. When you left the Northrend. Northrend went to Hilllands before we went to the guy that's yeah, no, 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 no. city. Don't worry, I still have my own notes. Give me a sec. Hey. hey. Let's see. There was Time a the uh, thieves' yeah. guild with a dungeon we never explored. Oh, oh Rivercrest! Yeah. Rivercrest, thank you. That's the name of the city I'm thinking about. No, that wasn't. That was, that, was North, that, was, that was still Northrend. That was still yeah, Northrend. Yeah, yeah. We were heading south, out of Northrend, is what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. No, out of Sindel. Uh, Sindel's a city. Northrend Sindel. is. Uh, yeah. Northrend's like province. Yeah. The province. And we bumped into those two creepy twin elf. People. I don't think they're they're still alive, you know. They're still in. They're, they're in the other. They're creepy, in the other colony. Crash. I hope you know that. that they're in the middle colony. Right now. This is continuity, motherfucker. They're in the middle colony right now as provincial elven it. diplomats. I love it. And they still talk creepily. Yeah, you so, just said creepy. <laughs> because that's the best way to describe it. When you have two twins, where I told you, like, you guys can enter. Like, which one's talking? Either of them. Just, just change it however your mind feels like. That's and when you know it's creepy. And they're diplomats. <laughs> they're elven diplomats, so it means they're, they're really good diplomats. Again, they would brother, sister. Oh, look at this one. Oh, I like this one. Yes, he's very cute. Oh, I. Oh, half of ooh, <laughs> not so much half blood. <laughs> it's funny. Again, which one's the brother? Which one's the sister? They both are the same. They kind of talk into each other sentences in a way that's really fluid and it's really <laughs> off-putting. Like, it makes sense that it's just me saying, like, if I were to just be like, oh, it's just me saying as one person, it's like, yeah, of course they talk fluidly. They're talking, it's their mind. But the fact that they're twins talking so uni in such unison, that's what makes it creepy. Have you guys ever played um, Resident Evil Code Veronica? Mm. No. Nope. There are, there's a couple of characters like that. Of course there are. They remind it's me like, of um, the twins in Deadly Premonition. Yeah, it's a male and female. There you go. We could do, um, hmm. we could do, we, do, we could do Rivercrest. I have, the, I still have the dungeon for that, wait. I mean, hey, it's stuff. something that we never explored, so we wouldn't know what to expect. I think it's in this notebook. Let's the thing is, notebook. if I remember correctly, that's when no, we were, like, thing. level three or four, and now we're, like, three. Like, three. Yeah. Well, you guys don't have to be the same level. Like, right. that's fine. Um, I would say that you two, that's what, again, another, Another reason why I ended is that you two would have to start this one. And since I don't have Rule 20 Pro, haha, charge five bucks for shit you already have. Assholes. Uh, we would have, you and, like, the three of us would have to take some time to, again, transplant stuff because you can't copy sheets into an arc. Mm -hmm. Free Rule 20. Not that I'm aware of this. Yeah. Then there is. I eat from, to my mind, there's that option. There's the. Verd Bane, and there's uh, oh, Verd Bane. Oh, that one would be interesting. Not much RP though on that one, but we could again, yeah. we could tweak it. We could tweak it because again, like here's the thing: like we don't have to be true to account because one, in this campaign there was an, a semi altered timeline to yes. get to this current campaign. Secondly, the people telling this telling. story aren't the people that were there like we're not getting yeah. owen to conjure up this portal book these are like three <laughs> asshole cunt snickering archfey that are this literally their whole purpose in existence is being assholes and causing suffering like that's our whole purpose so like we don't have to be true to what happened years <laughs> it wasn't two years now wouldn't it be for the bit of it? Yeah, it's two years now. 
yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like we don't get the inspiration and we can invoke the inspiration. We don't have to carbon copy the story itself. So yeah. Are you why are you putting hearts on? Listen, it's honey. <laughs> listen, honey. He's taken. Yeah, yeah. Depending on which him. part depending on which part of the story we're entering. He looks like one of my very old OCs that I used to draw all the time on Paint Chat and Oakaki back in the day. Oh my god. Also depending on the situation, you might bump into that person. And that person might whoop your ass. <laughs> Yeah. Well, remember, yeah, this is a story. It's not like we're changing history. She's uh, pretty kick ass. Fuck. Not, not in the beginning of the campaign. She, that is true. She was, she was she definitely below the your guys' level. Ah, fuck. What was that? There was the. Uh, oh, that could be a lot of fun. Uh, oh, fuck. There's the name of the entity that was gave us the. Stardust Way Shaper. Um, hey, thank you. boy. The Ruby Garnet of Request was what I was thinking about. Yeah, I never got to use I mean, that the, shit, did I? Damn it. The gem changed in according to like who. Yeah, for me it was a Garnet. Mine was a Star. I want to say Star Sapphire or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Cool pattern. yeah, I think it was a Star Sapphire. Yeah, I just work of Beans of the Void. Yeah. Hey. I mean, to be fair, this group's moral alignment of working with Fell Gods is a lot different than the previous groups. Actually, no, it isn't. Yeah, honestly, though, like, yeah, the two of you had fairies in your like, pockets yeah, sure, and whatever. shit like that. I think more. All this shit. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, you guys. Hey, you guys would get along pretty well. Hey, what's your favorite Fell God like? Mine, too. <laughs> oh. Uh, nice. yeah, you guys could do the Stardust Way Shaper. Oh, he didn't really have a quest, <laughs> though. He didn't have a. No, it was more of a. The, the, um, he was gathering data. Hey. Do you think it'd be possible for us to get the Ricard's short strike Star, star steal it from the story, and keep it so we could actually use it as fucking campaign instead of having me <laughs> hold on to it the whole time? If you guys didn't already have a prize to win, which is a way out, then potentially. Yeah, oh, the, the rules shame. are the rules are set. Shame. Um, not Dove Rose. Dove Rose is far too long. Yeah. Uh, we could do the town that was just before that I don't remember the name of. We could fight the fucking giant tree. Never gotta fight that giant tree. Oh, yeah, the hanging tree. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeets you Galibur. into the sky. Galibur would be a good one as well. Mm -hmm. I don't have the design on that one still. Especially I if you throw like a second villain in to mix it on up. Yeah, oh, this shit, time I'm changing the second. boss so he can't disarm her. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that was anticlimactic. But Marshall I, tries, I but he gets impaled by a tree. I respect fair play. Um, yeah. Hustle respect weapon something. chain. I, I think Verbane would be interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as would be fun. Verbane and Galibur interesting. The trip to Weeper's Wake was pretty defining as well, but the thing is, like, not really not, much. Yeah, not a lot happened. It, from a top down perspective, not much happened. Like, there wasn't, like, any big. It was like, it felt very meandering. Yeah, it felt it was, very meandering. It was the group coming really. together kind of thing. It was definitely, like, a filler quest kind of feel to it. But it also we introduced the Nocturne the Cough Cough. It did, yes. And then you guys wasted an hour until I had to clarify that it's not a Nocturne, it's THE Nocturne. THE. One and only. Legendary. Nocturne. Yep. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, I, I, again, we can talk about this for hours, so I'll put it between you two. So, like, if you both vote one and one, then I'll be the tiebreaker. But I won't tell you my choice prior. Uh, Galibur or Vebe? Galibur, I think, has like a bit more RP stuff like built into it, but again, we could I could just tweak the other one. That's fine. My vote is uh, Verdban. Garf? Verdban was um, the lady in the forest, right? Yeah. And so of sorts. Incinerated their husband. Yes. All oh, right, I remember that. I I prefer Galibur. <laughs> we did the oh, exact shit. thing you were concerned about. Yeah, I I, I just feel like mm. the Verdban is kind of like. Not that, like, that's untouchable. Like, you could definitely do something new with that. I, but it's like, we kind of have the story for that. And I would like to see what happens with Galibur instead. Well, I'm you know what happens keen. with Galibur is a thing. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm not, but I'm I'd like not to see the different Galibur. thing that could happen with Galibur. I don't give a shit what the different thing that could happen with Verdane. Well, maybe a little. Uh, 
I can, I can respect that. I can respect that. There's because you say that, I'll, both. I just prefer Galibur because the potential of interacting with the giant. Uh, because I'll, I'll agree with that. I, I initially was going to say Venom Bane because it's more easy to like. It's just more straightforward and easy to modify. But if it's because you're genuinely curious, like what the different outcomes for the town are, I'm going to dig up some for that. Um, then I'll put my vote for Galibur. The thing is, like, it's going to be pretty tweet. Yeah. Because, like, don't get me wrong, it's a good story. I'm pretty proud of Galibur. Yeah, it came out good. But also, like, I don't want a carbon copy. So yeah. let's see. Galibur was one of the uh, story arcs that was the most taxing for Aldrich. That's why I'm hesitant on revisiting that. Whoops. Taxing in which sense? Keeping himself him... alive or keeping others alive? Taxing in, in sort of like. Uh, it, it had a profound impact on him. Yeah, it's. It, um... It was one of your guys' first like heroic. Yeah, it, it really pushed him toward being more embracing of Danue and being more nurturing toward Owen. Hmm. Well, if it makes you feel better about again, like again. The people telling the story are not perfect storytellers. They said they told you that explicitly. They're not storytellers. They're architects. <laughs> That'd be like telling uh, Matthias Jethers, the create the the uh, the sole architect of all. The still, is, still is alone, by the way. Um, like if he's a good storyteller, same deal. Um, if it makes it easier for you, you could say. Like we could inter like change the sequence of stuff that makes sense. So if you want to have like a more uh, brought together mindset for Audrey, we could tweak the like from like prior stuff like that. But of course, it's up to you. Other than that, uh, what level? Do you guys remember what level you guys were at Gal? Uh, that just was a level, just like before... a, I want to say two, one or two levels before where you guys ended, which was like level yeah. nine. Yeah. What I want to leveled say... up mm. at the very end of it, right? I believe so. at the very, at the very end of the campaign. End of the campaign, no, I, I, we can find out right now. We leveled up at the very end of the campaign. Yes, like we had like a session. Of you guys have one dr like let's get drunk session, which is ironic considering how you guys get drunk every session. This fucking game, I'm noticing a trend. Uh, back then. Because Jennifer you guys was level 10. in the fucking mud. <laughs> she didn't drink. You guys are level 10. You, I know you guys leveled up after Dubro, so that's mm -hmm. level 9. So you guys were either level 8 or 9. I want to say it was 8, because I remember... Us... I want to say it was 8 as well, because I think you guys leveled up after Dubro. What I remember is that it I was when so, we yeah. were redoing the Ranger, and I was really debating whether I wanted next level to change everything out to be just Ranger or keep the Alchemist. Yes, yeah, so I remember that, yeah. So I yeah. believe it was 8. Okay. Checks out. Yeah, it like sounds it sounds mad like yeah, like logically correct. Yeah. So that well, that means you guys will have to right recreate now? level eight. Yeah, you guys aren't too terribly ahead from. Yeah. You guys are what level six right now? Seven? Seven. We're level nine. I I'm drunk. I'm nice. thinking of the other <laughs> campaign. Too many games. <laughs> I think I have the notes of how Aldrich was split in terms of levels. <sighs> Uh, ah, here's summer. the thing. I wouldn't have the, the... Okay, here's the thing. It's just us three filling the air right now. So, going back to the whole group. So, Rebecca, Kirstie, you guys are going to have to learn some new NPCs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And not, I'm not talking about NPCs as in the sense of they're their old characters. No, I mean like actual other. Sounds good. Now, yeah. let's... No, I want to find out to see if any of you guys know the story prior. So, I, I asked... <laughs> well, that's the bit. Would your character have heard stories of of a modern era? Um, I'm certain that my character would have. Roll me your background information, then. Because keep in mind, 25, that's really good. So yeah, it's true. Um, it's like a six. The, the bit I want to say to this is that up until the prior campaign, the idea of adventurers being heroes has long been squashed for a long time. Mercenaries are not adventurers. All adventurers are vagrants. All vagrants playing. They stir up trouble where it is not due. They cause problems. There's other 
orders and structures and establishments put in place in a more organized manner to deal with the problems adventurers dealt with. Because the world is just that much more civilized. So adventurers are, have no part in it. It's a, it's a similar reason why why knights don't exist anymore. Knights are replaced by house guards and house guard captains because it's not a matter of one lone knight. We're putting all our faith in this one guy. Oh, fuck, he died. Shit. All those resources. Exactly. And that's how the the, le the tale of Fallen Knight goes. Wizard in the North and stuff like that. Oh, no, they died. Oh, no, they crafted into a war machine that helped destroy the land. Okay, maybe the night idea, not so great. Maybe we should actually have, like, any art, which is bolstered by the fact that that story ends in certain editions in Vendacia, where an entire army city repelled it. It's like, okay, five nights, fucking failed. Entire city of soldiers? Worked. We know which one is the better idea. So, it follows a similar line for adventurers. Adventurers aren't seen as heroic people. They're just seen as troublemakers. Here, so, the story of Noxalus is the the Storm of Noxalus is the return back to that tradition of, in the modern era, we still have heroes yeah. that rise above the rest. So, so here's here's a thought. Yes. Um, what, what NPCs and what, what characters are we uh, bringing along? Because depending on where in the story we dive into, we either have Saurus or Marshall. And for this, either... for, for Galibur... It, it would be with Marshall. It, yeah, it was Marshall. Uh, Which honestly is more easier to play. As an I NPC. don't recall when Curse left. Curse was not. Was Curse? Curse didn't exist in this campaign, and also Curse left after Bellinger, or not Bellinger. Um, fucking. What is the Gallibur. town with Hang Tree? <laughs> Galibur. 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 Thank you. Yeah, Curse left immediately after Galibur. But Karis doesn't exist in this alternate. Ha 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 ha. Fair. Instead, it was something else that caused Nebby to go haywire. I can't remember what you said it was. Yeah, that's like another... Time. That's what it was. It was um, Nevi um, shelling up. That's that's the... That was what... Um, uh, Yours didn't like the mental trauma I gave unto you. <laughs> what a familiar tale. Yeah. Although I think Nevi's was better. Abigail's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. One's a it's a different bitch, one's a coward. It, it, it's a it's a different set of scenarios because after is like I'm losing my family. These are two different scenarios. Hmm. The two different mental traumas. One is an undercoming of uh, understanding of an underperformance. One is why is the world so cruel to me? Again, these are two very different problems. Yeah. So it's not it's not right to equate them. They compare. And then obviously Varric is a fucking stoic bastard, even if he has a, have a potentially suicidal, zealous tendency to so on and so forth. So, um, back to the group thing. Uh, Kirsty, do you think Wise would have heard modern heroics? I don't know, because I imagine she was probably pretty insulated, to be honest. So, it'd only really be if she was able to come across. Yeah. <laughs> well, um. um... Hmm. If she came, she she'd probably read. If she came across a book about it. She'd probably read it. If you know what I mean. But so, so, here's, here's a this? counter question for you, Crash. Here's a counter question before you roll that. Um, given the epilogue for uh, Aldrich and Danoi hmm. and how they chose to set up, given uh, yes. certain proclivities. Yes, with uh, familial stuff. Yeah, that that might. Because if they are in that sort of realm of thievery and s sneak thievery, you know what yes. I mean? Sneakery. Yes. Yeah. That could be an avenue of how they'd gotten into. I just remembered. Well, okay, well, that's a good counter question then for Wise. Um, how often did you hear about other people's criminal antics? Because I know, I know the nature of your criminal background, but the thing is, like, I'm not sure how much you would either A, have been informed about such, or B, cared to have learned about other people's criminal activities. I'd probably have, like, a general idea of what's going on, like, who'd be all the bigwigs and stuff, but more than that, I don't really know, like... Okay, then that works out. Big wigs. Would, then, following that, <laughs> would your character have romanticized ideas about 
the better criminals, which would be like, oh my gosh, so and so is so cool. He just robbed a bank without anyone noticing. Like, like, would your character be into this romantic no, criminal she, notion? No, she would not. No way. <laughs> then, I would say at that, at, at, as such, um, roll me a d20 plus proficiency, but don't add any of that. So d20 plus, plus three right now, plus four, plus three. Plus, uh, I want to say it's four. Uh, I forgot my thing. It's plus four. Yeah, yeah add d20 plus four. plus four. DC will be okay. 18. <laughs> I believe in you. You can do it. Yeah, I don't know shit. <laughs> Never heard of him. Yeah, I got no clue. We uh, could do the T Rex. No, I I don't even know how that would go. That would just be jumping in an arena and fighting T Rex, honestly. No, that would just be Marshall killing everything. Yes, yes it would. Do not worry. I fought these before. <laughs> Just <laughs> punch out his fucking legs, it can't reach you. No one more should try to fucking tame and ride the team. Yeah. Finally, a worry mount. No offense, Jax. Like <laughs> Fair enough. Exactly. Uh, um, okay, so going back. Uh with Sandra, I know him. Do it work from like a very I want to say isolated, but you're very, from a very yeah. niche group, so I'm not sure how much you have learned. I would almost say isolated, I guess but like yeah, it. niche. Um, she has traveled, like she spent like she's, yeah, and yeah, she's not traveling. like actually like 20 actual years old. She is semi-experienced with a large amount of years. So, and that years, those years were exploring the provincials. So, I'll say it's possible. Then, then I'd say roll just back right now. Hit. Seventeen? Same DC across the one. It was eighteen, wasn't it? Yeah, eighteen. Yeah, just missed it. I'd say you probably heard of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Chetamir. Uh huh. As a similar occupational, well, not two Close different trackers similar. tracking different yeah, things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, you you you, have, you don't know the story, but you know a character. Gotcha. Okay. Like, uh, as for Ward, Ward has a tendency to know things that he doesn't know. Right? <laughs> he knows, so, knows, but he doesn't know. Would, knowing Ward's actual backstory and background, Ed, would... How likely do you think it is? I could... As a well-traveled person, I would say, you know, decently likely, but it's up to you. Yeah. Because, like, the things you traveled for are not the same. If that makes sense. Am I not? True. He is very into sort of like legend lore and um, the history of, of places. So he would have a habit of scouring for knowledge. Okay. So I would definitely say that he has come across potentially uh, writings. Okay. Then roll me again background information, stuff like that, but this time with advantage. Also, I realize it makes sense for Aminius to know about this story, consider how this story takes place in the twins. Mm -hmm. So yeah, twenty-one. You know the story, Ward. You know the story. So a few different levels of knowledge amongst the group. Yeah, one person doesn't know at all. One person knows a character, and then two people know the story itself. They have the actual, not the actual, not the guys are there, but how the written story, the run and the. Now, would either of the people that know the story know this story specifically? That's what I'm saying. They would know this story, not the Noxalus gotcha, gotcha. entirety. Because that's, that's a different beast. That's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, to those of you that do know the story. Uh, obviously, Fred, you know exactly how the story went in the prior campaign. It probably goes something along the same lines. But to you, Rebecca, to, as, a, as a minis who knows of the story. Or as mm -hmm. know the story. The story goes, this uh, adventuring party, which call themselves Nasala, which is Nevros. Nevros for... Excuse me. Ah. Night Watchers. Noxalus is an old Nevros tribe that went extinct, and these guys took up the name. Noxalus here went to a town, bringing back a lost child. The lost child has, is, has a very peculiar nature, because her town has a very peculiar nature. They're cursed. 
But um, but um. They're cursed. They're cannibalistic, not by choice, and they have a tree Ooh. out in front that hangs, which is how they get their "quote unquote" supply. Lunch. They also have a cursed well that Noxalas will eventually endeavor down upon. <laughs> because someone jumped they eventually in. they eventually cure the town of its curse, having faced peculiar crystalline zombie creatures. Not the Underdark. That's an actual thing in d, d In the Underground. If I were to make um, organize this like, you know, like a playwright would. You know, we have characters. Shadowmere Froststone. Aldrich Magnus. Marshal Militides. Or Militides the Marshal. Changes depending on who's fucking asking. Danaway. Owen Magnus. And Nevi. And Mira Ventris, because I, I remember Mira's is during this time. That's why yeah, we jumped around. into the thing. Yes. As well as side character, the reason that they're here, a little child, a girl named Mishka. Obviously, the town's called Galibur, and they have something which is notorious. I wonder what it does. <laughs> it hangs out with you, that's why. For eternity, as it hangs you and eats your flesh. Oh. It doesn't eat it, more like it just sort of like sucks it up, like liquefies Like it. a spider devouring a bug. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. So yeah. Those are the characters. Two of which we played by two people. Again, to the Very two of you cool. that know how the story actually played it, it will be tweaked. I don't know how much, but I have an entire week to redo it. And as the players in my real life game have learned, me having free time is not necessarily a good thing for survival. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I forgot. Yeah, they, d they all died, didn't they? No, they they might die. Oh, they might die. Right, I'm thinking of O's campaign. <laughs> they died to chickens. Yeah, o oh, here's the thing. O TPK and people happens like every Tuesday. month. That, that's like Tuesday for them. One might say it's actually Saturday. Anyways. Haha. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be what the story is. It's gonna be... Here's the thing. The the ruinous architects aren't giving you, like, an in on the story. You guys are just... <laughs> Surprise. Exactly. So you guys actually started to... Figure out I, what's I, going I don't on. Know. I don't want to say deceive, but but like you guys have to sort of not tell. The you guys whole can't truth. just you guys. Well, I don't know. Just describe it as you will, but like you guys can't leave because the storybook is only for this area. You know, like how the book is. It, <laughs> we can't like, just fuck off to the next town. Yeah, you can't just fly. Yeah, exactly. So as a result, like you guys have to sort of either worm your way or like overwatch the main story itself so, so you guys have to sort of deceive watch. the main characters or explain it in such a way that it's okay or whatever or again you don't have to interact with the main characters at all you guys can just watch from the side and just sort of help along but that's up to you guys but again like it's not like the the ruinous architects have written the new, the second band of adventurers are also have a child who's also. Well, they don't have that. Yours is there. The right in a way for the the travesty tome, because it's their construct, but not you guys. So yeah, obviously you guys are deciding now. You know, next session. Uh, you guys will have to sort of. Either decide whether you guys want to actually introduce yourselves to the main characters of the, or just watch from the sidelines. Don't and if do you it, decide the to, Archface could be listening. And in either case, you have to sort of decide like how. Right. So yeah, that's something to consider for next session. And speaking of next session, let's talk scheduling. Obviously, we have next Saturday. Hope. Does anyone have anything? Next Saturday? No, I am good. 
I'll All be right. in quarantine, so. I have yeah. at least the next week off now, so. Hey, me too. <laughs> Wait, did your store close or? Uh, no, she she was calling around being like, hey, do you want to take the next month off? And I was just like, oh, let me think about oh, it. Oh, hey, who wants to work when COVID-19's out? Yeah. yeah, honestly, though. I'm waiting a week to see, see if it gets worse, and if it does, I'll just be like, yeah, I'll just take the rest of the time off as well. Okay. So you're free and I'm free? Mm. Now, as... And Rebecca, Rebecca's free, to a certain extent, to if, uh... <laughs> it's us. More so you than us. Uh, but to the other two of you, the one in our... Con United States of Confinement. Um, yeah. Are you guys willing and... If you are willing and capable of playing sometime not Saturday. I can only do Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. I can do that. And Saturday. Oh yeah, um I'm gonna have to know ahead of time if you guys are planning to play on not Saturday because I'm still actually in school, so, so that's why I'm, we're ending session early to decide now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Saturday's best for me. Well I'm saying we would do both, like Saturday and another. In a, in a supplementary day, we'll say. Yeah, because I'm not at work currently, but I am applying for other jobs. So, as long as I can find out in advance when it is, I can take the time off. Mm, interesting. So it sounds like Thursday, Friday, Saturday are the potential days? We could go Friday, Saturday, and double down. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I, I probably, would go insane. I'm not going to... I don't want to commit to doing seven hours both. I could do a couple hours on Friday, but I'm trying to do other stuff yeah, that's, that's not cool. like gaming during this time. Mm. Yeah, so we could just do like shorter games on the other days. We could do like a four hour thing on like today. Yeah, yeah. A little baby session, then a regular session, and then. Another session to well, the whole story up? No, I don't think we'd be doing like a double. I think Thursday, Friday to recover, Saturday. Sounds fair. Uh, does that sound agreeable, Rebecca? Um, it depends what time on Thursday. What time is best for you? Um, I would say. Because I ain't working, so I don't care. <laughs> no, I'm just like, there's other stuff that I'm doing, so, um, I would say either nighttime or, like, late afternoon. Like, I could do, like, maybe, I could do, like, 1 to 5 would be fine with me on Thursday. 1 p.m. to 5. That'd be fine by me, because I could sleep in. <laughs> but it depends on whether or not, um... I'm gonna have to do any work from home, so I'll have to. It depends what my bosses decide and when they give me stuff. Fair enough. I think the only thing with that, if we're starting at like, say, five o'clock or something, that's gonna be like middle of the night for me. Yeah. Well, it would be four hours ago. We would move short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go to right now. Okay, that wouldn't be too bad, actually. It was just like... That works. Okay. It's like cutting yeah, off the yeah. first few hours. We cut off the first out a couple hours, and then we cut off right now. <laughs> Basically. Because we have another <laughs> day. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. It's just if it were starting at, like, four in the morning or something like that, I'm going to be like, no. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> no. Or starting at, like, 12 or something, I'd be like, oh, no, I'll be up all night. <laughs> no. Okay, it would be from four hours ago to right now minus yeah, okay. minutes. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, that'll be fine then, that'll be fine. That'll work out. Uh, well then, Rebecca, I guess just keep us posted. I shall. Hey. Do you know, like, if, like, a certain time you get hit with uh, work stuff, or is it just, like, it might just pop up? Yeah, the problem is, um... My bosses are extremely unreliable, and <laughs> um, part of it. yeah, like they tend to just like leave things to the absolute last second, and like they don't plan very well. So 
and like the nature of my job is that when they have something I have to just jump on it and take it otherwise it's lost I just don't yeah basically so so that's why I'm just kind of like I I get hesitant to commit to certain things during the week and I'll, I have school Monday Wednesday Thursday and like the radio station stuff like my teacher is having me do a lot of extra stuff because I'm the station manager and it's just kind of like I don't know I just I hesitate to just block off like huge chunks of my time during the week because yeah, I'm time. like yeah, yeah. This, is, let us know. this is for otherwise fun. if it doesn't work out then it's fine that kid have a minute it's in the book itself precisely like a he stepped through a, a portal doesn't pop no. out the other side a book within a book I mean, originally, when I was going to kidnap one of you... That's what okay. basically happened. That would have happened, yeah. But then none of you all read it, so I could kidnap anyone. And I don't want to kidnap Varric or Abigail. That's boring. Yeah. yeah it's boring. There's no stakes when it's not your guys' cure. So, so I stole the other bit. I stole the other bit. This is no book. Yeah, cheers for that, mate. You're welcome. Oh, wait, crap. No, I just had a thought. Does that mean, like... If I can't get my scale book back immediately once we're in the book and we have a long rest, I won't be able to use my spells. <sighs> just hope that I don't have a yeah, long you rest. Should, you would still be able to, it's just that you can't change them. I thought it was you had to sort really? of, it was like revising every time you know, I rest. You know, you know, now, now I it's, it's in the, I remember I told you I'd read it later. Now, now it's later. Okay. <laughs> While you figure this out, I'm going to grab food real quick. Be right back. Go ahead. Oh man, now we're gonna have to get back into the Aldrich mindset. It's been a while <laughs> to get out of it. Oh, I know. I think it's a good actually. It'd be great fun. Mostly because I don't have to do two characters, so I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> oh, what a chore doing two characters, huh? <laughs> just kidding. Yes. You sign on to being a GM. That's it. So you have all your cantrips still, which are fixed in your mind. Preparing and casting spells to cast one of them. You expand a spell slot, blah, blah, blah. You prepare a number of spells that are available to your cast. To do so, you choose that many uh, wizard spells. Hmm. Let's see if uh, Sage Advice D and D boss Jeremy Crawford had anything to say about this. I can go either way on this. Was Anella with us in in Galibar for a short time? Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. No. Afterwards, right. she was. She 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 summoned up by channel there afterwards. That was afterwards. Oh. Yeah, and, and it was a. Uh, we asked her about something. I think so you asked her about the Nevi thing. That's what it was, yes. Yeah. With the key. Yes, the doorknob key. Yeah. Now it's coming back to me. I would say this, Kirsty. I think you could still cast spells. I'm reading up on different answers and stuff like that. There's no official Jeremy Crawford one. And mm -hmm. obviously, at the end of the day, the GM could over. Um, but from the sounds and what, what I'm reading, you can still cast the spell. You still get back the spell slots at the end of a long rest. You just can't make a different spell list. And you also can't uh, use Arcane okay. Recovery. Right? Oh, okay. That's, I don't really use that anyway. So that's fine. Okay. Okay. Panic averted then. <laughs> so you, you can still cast spells. It's just that the spells you got are what you got. Yeah, yeah. I can't, like, switch around. Yeah. All 
I think all the spells I have prepared are like attack ones too, so I'm not going to be much backup. Back in mention. Welcome back. Hello? Let's see. Yeah, so yeah, other than you can't cast spells ritually because you read it out of your spell book, you can't use Arcane Recovery because it says in the first sentence you regain some of your magical energy by studying your spell book. Can't say something that's not there. Um, yeah. Hmm. yeah, that's about it. There's also like stuff of getting new spells upon leveling up, but I don't think that's really much of an issue. So yeah. Like you can still do other stuff though. I think you can still make the transmutations. I can still do what with transmutation, sorry? You can still make the transmuter stone. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um I'm probably just gonna keep the cuddle one with the minis anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking snickering at that. Oh my god. But yeah, other than that, yeah, again, it's just a matter of you can't cast ritual spells and you can't change your list. But other than that, it seems you're fine. That being said, okay. you do also know how much money is sunk into that book, so I don't know, maybe Kareem Yeah, you. The, the greediness in me is I just go, <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I did just give you 10k, so if you make it out of this, then you probably have enough to rebuild your fucking spell board. Yeah, but that's, that's demon money, so... Devil. <laughs> Devil money, I'm sorry, I didn't- mm, I don't care. Well, I'm I sure there's a very but... big difference. Oh yeah, I just remembered Ald Aldrich has a very interesting skill. <laughs> what yeah, I guess you'll have those. Would it be Ooh. squishing devil contracts by any no, chance? No, he has a- Ah, you fucking wish. No, he has a Fadar. <laughs> yeah, you have a Fadar. Mm. Like he- Can sense fate? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Crash. So, um, I remembered I didn't have um the activated mark when we went into Galber. Thank you. I don't know why I can't remember Galber for some reason. My brain keeps wanting. I to remember say, Galber like, had tr you guys had troubles with even during the campaign. You guys remember Srego, Dovros, Tiermer, Sevlis? Mm. I remember Galber still gave you guys trouble. Yeah, I don't because know because we were we were trying to juggle Galber with um... Dovros and Strego simultaneously. Yeah. You guys just came from Strego, you guys went back to Sevlis, and then you guys are on your way to Dovros, but on the way to Dovros, we hit you... up Galber. Exactly. Yeah. Anyways, I didn't have the mark at the time, but could... Well, that makes it easier, then. Yeah. Well, could I have the mark to play with cool toys? And... Let me think about it. Okay. Also, I was not in the Provincial Machinations game. He probably left because it's two of the other campaigns. Oh, he was over here. Okay. Yeah, no, he, he plays on Saturdays. It's just, like, later in the day. Well, I meant, like, in the Provincial Machination scene, I could see how many ports we have. Uh, um, luckily, I I started listing when I got certain things at certain levels, like certain feats, so I could just, like, cross off those feats. Boom. I mean, I probably would just accelerate you guys to ninth level. Well, the thing easier. is, the our characters in that campaign are... 10th, so I just have to drop one. Then, yeah, you just revert back. Okay. Well, then, that's not hard. Yeah. Well, uh, well here's here's a bit. Like, you can... As long as it's, like, roughly the same, I don't mind how you guys build your... Build. Build your characters in this one. Right. In the new... In the colonial game. Like, I don't mind. Again, it's not meant to be a carbon copy of what... Supposed what to be an approximation by stories they heard. Yes. To go along with that. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Aldrich has two more hit points than Ward. <laughs> go you. <laughs> Some sorcerer is strong. Yeah, actually, what classes did you have in the last game? Let's see, we had a full dedicated cleric, a combo fighter barbarian, pretty classic. A combo alchemist ranger and then a combo warlock sorcerer. Oh, okay. Uh, Garf and Fred, I put e. your old characters. 
Uh, be tinker with them however you so does. Uh, I'm not gonna redo the NPC ones. It's gonna have to go That's gonna be too much of a fucking hassle to read like five characters. Also, although if I get bored in the week, if I get bored in the week, I'll do it. But if not, then whatever. The good thing is uh, with Chedimir, I always took the average. So that's, that's even for you, that health. Yeah. I both helped uh, so did so did Ulrich. I don't think so. I just go up to by this point in the campaign, you guys were eighth level. That's what we agreed upon. Eight, then nine after Galber, then ten after Douglas. Yeah, just go to nine, just for you. Know, right? Okay. Ah, uh, Nebby sheets. Oh, sweet child. Haha. <laughs> Traumatized. Uh, Alchemist used D8s, right? Yes. Okay, so it'd be average of 5, plus 3, so minus 8, so it's 82. Guns do exist in the alternate timeline. That I don't know how that would... Im I, don't, I don't really think it really influences either of your guys' characters. Chedmere has a shotgun now. It's up to you. No, she fucking wanted Why the fuck would she use a shotgun? <laughs> Unless she can use, like, a shotgun with I a I don't think using any somehow. gun in, like, a... Good, considering how you could cause avalanches. Uh huh. <laughs> and silences don't exist yet. Not even the really shitty hunt showdown one. Oh, that's right. Uh, sorcerer level one, and then warlock. That's what I did. I think Owen's only level one at this point, though. Yeah, he is. Because he wasn't storm sorcerer yet. No, that came after. Yeah, that was after you impart talked to the uh, starter's way shaper. Man. Yes. <laughs> Owen with his piddly. I forgot. We gave Owen all flat level 10 <laughs> stats because we agreed he's just utterly average. Yeah. The that, that was his. Uh, what he did before he before his own adventure. <laughs> he went on ours. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Your guys' campaign was his back. Although he had high, he had a high charisma. He had, he had decent. He had 17 charisma. Yeah. Man, boy level one. The boy. He's a child. I wanna say Danway was level I wanna say Dan was level three. She's level four and right now. But I'm assuming she leveled up once after Devro, so therefore she'd be level Yeah. By God. Yeah. Good, that just makes it no ASI. <laughs> Easy. Phew. That's right, you guys have Tala. Forgot about Tala. Which O has buffed, but he only buffed like the level, not that. So she was probably only level one. Wait, she wasn't even a paladin by this was she? No, I She's level one fighter. Hmm. <laughs> Now realizing how much bullshit I had on Shinra's sheet that I did not need. Uh, Knew you. Da, 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 da. Stats are just fucking beefcake. <laughs> yeah, he started out with like fucking a twenty in charisma or something, didn't he? I believe so. Yeah. And then times. bumped his con to twenty as well. rolling advantage I have to fix that <laughs> look at the old folder <laughs> I 
there's a video here which I didn't understand and that it's the mythology the maestro mythology like the class mythology class in a nutshell and it's just <laughs> it's, a, it's a guy heading a lynx <laughs> and then he keeps freaking out at him but he doesn't care and he keeps heading it even though he's like so cute It's so cute. Aww. It's mad at him. Mm. So cute, though. Yeah. I don't... I also have this picture of a guy getting fucking finger deft. Fun. Yeah, here. There you go. There's a guy getting a uh, finger of death while his buddies tries to save him, but uh, it's not really working out for either of them. No, he looks kind of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he dead. He did. D E D dead. I have the Dovros map here. That's going to be handy for another time. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, fucking. Why do I have a plus two to initiative? Oh, dex modifier. Durr. Okay, I didn't punch it. Yay! Aldrich's lowest stat is a 12. <laughs> Mine is 8. Oh my god. And he, everything else is 15 or higher. Beautiful. Yeah, he am. Also, I got lucky. Alchemists, all they get at level 4 is like ability score improvement, and that's it. <laughs> well, that's, that's, yeah, that's the thing for everyone. Yeah. So, uh, Alright, I might start heading to bed, so... Go ahead. If we're... we're basically just yeah, just let's keep you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, too many people talking. Uh, next session <laughs> is tentatively, keep your eyes open, tentatively, Thursday at 1. I'll, I'll change the role 20 time. Okay. Um, I'll keep you posted as well if I do get the job or not, but... Yeah, let us know, let us know. Good luck. I'll usually be free in the evenings anyway, but it's just because it's still shacking, so it's probably going to be like overnight. Fair yeah. enough. But yeah. You do you. I shall let you know. Just keep us posted. Yeah, I've got like... Yeah, I should know, I'll know by Monday, so... Alright. Well, I'll keep my Good. eyes and ears open. Monday. Yeah, I'll check the uh the what's it called? The roll twenty. The thing with the times. Yes, that that's that's. I it. just yeah. changed it right now. So. Okay, cool. Yeah, have a good All night. Right. All right, good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. User has left left the channel. I guess I'll head off too. But um, I'll, yeah. I'll be around on Discord a lot more. I'm yeah, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, and I'll keep you guys posted on my schedule. Indeed, you guys enjoy as well. I get a week off of work. I'm a fucking. I think Sweet I might just revamp Galibur, Honestly, if I'm that bored. <laughs> that being said, I have started up a Darkest Dungeon run, so oh, nice. so nice. I might I might be a bit busy with that. I but hey, it's finally, been inspiration. Yeah. I might finally beat Ascension 17 on the defect. We'll see. I like when the defect. You're <laughs> stupid.
Defect yeah. is hard. I'm, I've been hard stuck on 17 for a long time. I'm not even gonna bother pointing the watcher. I'm 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 too like one cell brain for like defect. I'm too like negative five cell brain. Uh, Honestly, I, I think I, I think I think watcher is considerably easier than the defect. Just because once you get a feel for her cards, she's really Maybe. defect is not as powerful. I don't think unless you get really specific I, cards. I, I, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like defect, I feel like can go like crazy way like depending on your cards. It's yes. like, oh, I can have like honestly, there's one trinket that like fucking makes or breaks a run for me is the um the one that gives you an orb slot every other turn. That one like well if I get it, I'm like, okay, now I'm just gonna wipe like straight yeah. up. Because it's so good. <laughs> it's like every other turn you get an orb slot, fucking give me like twenty orb slots or whatever, how it is. I think it's like twelve. It's really good, but it also can fuck me bad sometimes because it's like you don't get enough orb cycle, and some builds really require like um, fair orb cycling. Yeah, so I, I'm the, just a, I'm just a turtle one. Yeah, as turtle with frost. Um, frost turtling is good. Uh, the one that always makes or breaks runs for me is a power called. I forget what it's called, but anyway, the buff it gives you is called electro. And it um, makes it so your lightnings hit every enemy. So it's oh, like the a, um, hey, electro, electro something like electro dynamic, electro dynamic or something. Yeah, I was like, I never get that card. Never fair, I don't build towards lightning. Build towards frost. Let's see. What to call today's session? What did we do today? We went into the ruinous architects. Draft stole a handful of books. Into the open. Into or... the. Hey, I like that. It. it... Turning the it. first page. Oh, both of those are actually very good choices. I'm taking turning the first page. I'm fucking liking. Them. Aha! You made it easier for future me. All right. So, so does that make this next session page turner? <laughs> Yo, hang on to that, Fred. Hang on to that. You know, I'll message sign thing. Page turner session. Boom. It's saved now. That's good. I like that. I forgot how much shit <laughs> I could stack on top of Chedmere's attacks. Welcome to Ranger, Hunter. Oh my god, that's what's talking. Look at all the numbers. Okay, just ignore the two-handed one though. That end up being like Ironically, that you're one-handed way more. Oh wait, no, they're, they're about equal. Never mind. Never mind. It'd be what seventeen versus eighteen. Seven, or eight. Yeah, eighteen versus seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at the first numbers. So much good stuff. Mm. Yeah, the mark of winter on there as well. I have it on the sheet in case you say, "Yeah, I can use it." I put a handout if you want to have a. Um, Mira is level 10. I just take back 10. It's not level rogue. I think it's, uh, it's an ASI. So yeah, I just take away sharpshoot, whatever. Easy. Easy clap. Uh, let's see. Do I still have the. I can do Tala's voice just fine. Not that she really talks that much. I can do Owen's voice off the top of my head because apparently, according to my other group, I play uh, shy guy really well. <laughs> Nebbies will be. I'm gonna dig some stuff up for. Uh, good old. Charlie. Actually, no. I think I could probably do it. An innocent character. Well, what a thing. And doing Danway is easy because I just don't. <laughs> Don't give two blows. Uh, I can do Marshall's voice just fine because O has a very specific cadence for Marshall. And Sima just won't talk. And I can still do Mishka just fine. So there you go. Mishka. All right. Mishka. Had to dust off the Russian accents for the town though, but it'll be fine. And Mira's voice is pretty similar to Abigail. In fact, oh well. What can I say? I like scouts. <sighs> Finish that monster can. Happy I got it. 
All right, I'm gonna bounce y'all. See ya. Yeah, no, let's keep you. Enjoy your freedom. I guess lack of freedom when it with quarantine. It's a combination of the two. Freedom from here, not so much freedom. Haha, <laughs> you guys have homework. <laughs> and the downside is I can't go to that uh, the online flashcard sheet pit website that I used to go to. Wait, why not? <laughs> because all the homework is right here. Ouch. I can't copy it from there. It doesn't exist. You guys mind tweaking your characters at all from what they originally As is. Yeah, I'm gonna... Might do a, like, different spell. One or two. We'll see. That's all. Yeah, I like Shadowbrush. It's fun. just simple go-to. You guys are now has to take a step towards GM role of playing two characters simultaneously, and you guys get to talk to each other. That's talk to yourselves. Uh, hmm? I'm, I'm wondering how your characters would react to, like, to, to a new group. The word, the, the bit is, I, I'm not sure how you guys are going to introduce yourselves. We're just, like, yeah, down in the it. fucking caves or something. No, I think you guys would be, like, you guys would enter the story at the same time you guys are on the way to Gallop. You guys saw the fox? Yeah. The, the three-eyed fox? The RGB fox? <laughs> That's what the eyes were! So yeah, you guys would probably be enter around that time. Where you guys initially, like, start, like, took camp, looked at the river, RGB fox, that, at, around that time. That's when you guys are entering. Probably gonna change how the um, the underground is. Mix it up. Mix it up. Change some things. The creatures I think should be fine in terms of. Actually, I don't know. Let me look at them. The crystal creatures should be fine for the. Some things or add some details to them. Because this was back when I wasn't super into playing uh, combat. But we've come a long way. Let's see. Monster folder. And oh, there it is. Galibur and its crystal caverns. There it is. Uh, the hanging tree. 600 health. Still want to fight that fucking tree. And it's good, so... Yeah, alternate world, let's go. <laughs> yeah, you think we should hit up O and see if he can jump in for a session? Because, like, I feel like he would be, remi or be remiss... No, I'm gonna hit him up right now. Yeah. Like, hey, we might yeah. fuck up the tree. He's like, excuse me? <laughs> hey, O. Oh. So, the way today's session went... Is that the party has agreed to play a game? Arch Fate is in charge of the and that game is running through a story, a chapter of a story. Ah, shit. I do it at some point. The kicker is story. Of us, and the chapter is the Galibur section. Things are likely to be tweaked because one alternate timeline, and two, um, the story, quote unquote, storytellers are not true. We were thinking like, jump in as 
<laughs> oh, that'd be interesting because oh, we'll be able to jump in as Marshall and be full dedicated to playing Marshall. Yeah. Boom, baby. Damn, that actually does work out really well. Yeah, it does. It gets O in the story without having... Because obviously Roshan is probably... I don't know what the fuck Roshan is at this point. That's that's something to think about when O comes back. Come on, baby. Give me the spell. Uh, uh, I'm going to be right back. Let me just Go crazy. To, like, have it over here. Give me the Hunter's Mark. I know you can do it. I have to do it this way. I know there's a way to add them. Add the mark. <laughs> and don't want to have to type up all the fucking spells. I have like five spells, but I'm still a baby. Here's the thing. Out of all of them, all I need is like a sticky note that write down like what the names are. I can just put the fucking names in. Like I only need to know what Hunter's Mark is really. No fuck shit. This is Daniel being lazy. Where's this D10 coming from? Why does it do so much damage? Uh, which one? For the- oh, the, the right side. Um, yeah. I plugged it in, but I don't remember why. What was it? Was it something special? Oh, it's because you ate the, um, uh, I forgot Venedus. She ate the Scout's long sword, so it technically has a two-handed attack. Because D8 and D10, oh, yeah. Oh, right. That's what it is. Thanks. Yep, I forgot yep, yep. about that. Same. <laughs> I got lucky. I was looking at my sheet and saw the longsword stats that I had up, and it's like, aha! I just saw the entire feats section. <laughs> Let's see, anything important? Oh god, Ranger. Ah. <laughs> I 
You know what? I have at least a majority of week. I don't feel like doing this right now. I'm just save that for another time. <laughs> also gonna stop the recording because I forgot about that. Ah, crap. <laughs>